Hello, this will be a really nice one because I want to show you how to make a swift text animation where the text flies in, goes off in a very simple and nice fashion. So I'm going to comp number two and I want to show you how to do it. I have a background, an orange background. I will even close it down and I have three text boxes already prepared. I just made simple three text boxes. You want to select the text now here and press Control shift c to pre-compose it. Pre-compose the first, pre-compose the second and pre-compose the third. Go into text for example number one and I would like this composition to be smaller maybe. Maybe Control k and the width make 1100 and the height 200 would be completely enough. Now in order to make this visible I want to place the text here you can see it will shift, but I'll of course later take it back. Okay, we have the human text and I want to work with the position, but I do not want to harm the position of the actual text. I want to right click, select new and select a new nil object. This will be much easier if I take the text and I link it to the nil object. Where is it? Okay, the nil object should be on the left side. Oh, sorry. Also the text should be on the left side like this, perfect. And now I can take and just link it to the nil object. Once you have the nil object, go to the beginning, press P, and by the way my composition has 5 seconds of duration. Just click on the keyframe, go maybe one second forward and place the text on the very right edge. Then it will maybe stay for 2 seconds here to about second number three, add another keyframe, go a bit forward like half a second or one second about here and just place the text out of the screen anywhere here. Now I can simply right click keyframe assistant, ease all those keyframes, I can come here and we will only have to do this once. As you can see I have it like that, maybe I'll make the keyframes a bit nicer and at the end it should disappear slowly progressing. Boom. Okay, the ending is a bit boring. Let me place it like this. Yeah, it now eases in very nicely and then it quicker disappears. Okay, this is it for the first text. As you can see, we have an animation like this. Now, I want to go here and I want to Ctrl C and Ctrl V the nil object into the other layers. I'm making sure that I have motion blur selected for later. Exit this and go in the comp2, comp3. With my enter key I change this, comp1. Comp number two, boom. As you remember, Ctrl K, 111, 200. That I place the text just on the left edge and I select the nil layer. As you can see, it perfectly snaps here. This is it. I can place it here. Then the text number 3, Ctrl K, 111, 200, place text on the left side. Okay, the text is on the left side. I press Ctrl V, the nil object is here. I just connect them. Boom. Boom. As you can see, the last boom needs to be adjusted. Press P. Just make it a bit further away. That's no problem. Boom. And it disappears. I'm going back to the composition. Of course I have to place this text again here on the top side. And I want to enable motion blur. Not on the background. And enable motion blur for this entire composition. You can now see it's blurry. What you want to do last is shift alt page down. Shift alt page down page down. And there you have it, a very nice text animation. And at the end, it flies off the screen. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. And just remember to use a nil object within those compositions.